Hi, so this video is going to go over how you can now give candidates the option to report a problem that they might have with a assigned shift job. So to do this, you're going to go into your candidate table in your administration dashboard and you're going to click on a candidate and you're going to go under their profile section here. You're going to go to my jobs and here you can view all of the assigned shift jobs that the candidate has and now you can give them the option to report a problem. So to do this, you're going to click on this gear icon here and you're going to scroll down to where it says has a button to let candidate report a problem for assigned shift job. Once you click on this, you'll get a set of settings that you can change. But for now, we're just going to press submit to save this. And now you'll see that this button appears for the candidate. So this can be very useful when a candidate wants to report a problem they're having with a client. Some examples of this could be, let's say the client didn't mention that they had any pets, but the candidate is allergic to dogs. And then when they show up to the job, they find that they do have pets. So that could be a problem they want to report. Or let's say a client only mentions that they'll be taking care of one kid, but then when the candidate shows up, it turns out that it's four kids. So if they want to report that problem, they now have the option to. And once they click on this button, they do have the option to upload files. For example, if they want to send you a picture for proof of the problem, you can also add additional notes. And these fields are also customizable for what the text, what you want the text to say. So to adjust this, you're going to go back into the settings here, clicking on that gear icon. And below you have the option to change the text of the report problem button. You also have the option to change the label of the upload fields, the description of the upload upload fields. You also have the option of changing the label for the note field section that I showed you earlier. And you also have the option to add an email that will get notified when a candidate reports a problem as well. And you also have the option to automatically uh, have the status of the job changed when a candidate reports a problem. Of course, if you don't want the status to change, you can just leave it blank as well. And just make sure to press submit once you've um, once you want to save all of these changes. And that's it.